Join me today behind the scenes of my high key holiday fashion shoot. Adler here and happy holidays to you. Now today for my holiday themed image, of course I want it to look like me and look like my style which is clean, bold, graphic and colorful. So that's exactly what I have in store. Now my concept for this shot is of course that I wanted to introduce the color red, not only because it is symbolic of the season but because it is my favorite color. Uh, and I wanted to create something that would be graphic, interesting, eye catching and the idea is that my model, the beautiful styling, everything I get to shoot here, well that is actually a present to me. So we are going to have a giant big red bow on our model. Now as I planned this shoot, I reached out to my incredible team who helped me put this together. So first of all, my stylist found this beautiful dress and then he reached out to a designer that made this bow custom for this shot. What's great about it is I have the really, really long ribbons. So not only is the bow a really fun element to play with, but those ribbons are going to give me a lot to be creative with in my composition. I can have it at different angles, I can have it leading towards camera, so I know that's going to allow me to come up with some images that you probably haven't seen before. For this shoot, I'm going to be working with the Canon R5 and the Canon RF 24 to 105 lens. This is my go-to studio setup that I use all the time. The R5 is going to give me all the megapixels and all the speed that I need to capture this image, but that 24 to 105 is going to give me the flexibility I need. At times, I may want to shoot at a wider focal length in order to exaggerate the length and movement of the ribbon. And other times, I may want to zoom in, crop in, and get a tighter beauty shot. So having that 24 to 105 range is going to be exactly the versatility I need. Now let's talk about the lighting for this shoot. I want this image to be graphic and high key, and so I knew that I wanted to shoot on a pure white background. And I wanted it to be a little editorial popping, maybe even feel sunny, and so I knew I wanted hard light. So let me break down the lighting in this scene. My first light is a bare bulb. I'm shooting with a pro photo strobe with no modifier at all. Now what this does is it creates a lot of contrast, a lot of hard light, really emphasizes her cheekbones jawline, and gives dimension to the ribbon and her dress. So let me take a shot just with that first light and show you what I'm working with. Beautiful. This image is super dramatic. I think the shadows really work on her face and on her clothing, but not so much on the background. I find those shadows to be a distraction. It's not clean anymore. And so that's where I'm going to introduce my next two strobes. I have two white umbrellas, one on either side of the frame. They're going to light the background evenly. So I have a nice, clean, pure white background lit on a Savage Universal super white seamless paper. All right, let's take a look at the difference. Okay, so now the background is perfect white, nice and clean, graphic, just like my style. So now it's up to me to play around with the composition. Maybe the bow at her waist, on her shoulder, on her head, the ribbon's coming towards me, away in different angles. And so I have a couple ideas for what I think is going to be best, but I never wanna limit myself, so I'm gonna try a lot. Okay, so let's start here. You hold that up, and I'm gonna have the ribbons coming towards camera so that it's going to make a nice clean composition, but that the ribbons actually come out of the edges of the frame. Perfect. I'm gonna get lower to really exaggerate her height and make the ribbon look even longer. I got so many images from this session that I love and they came out even better than I expected. They're so like Harper's Bazaar, vintage, and they're exactly my style. So I know they're going to make it into my portfolio. If you like these images and you want to see the gear that I use to make them, be sure to check out the links in the description below. And you want to subscribe to Canon USA's YouTube because they have a lot of videos like these coming your way. See you next time, guys.